Welcome to another exciting episode of the unprecedented reality TV show here in Ghana, my era code reality TV show season four. My name is Nami Okain. Coming up on the show, we'll have the talent segment where our contestants are taking through a new challenge to learn a new thing in addition to what they already know. With the help of an expert, we have the knowing the roots and cultural heritage of our communities. Then we have the developmental segment where our contestants will be divided into two groups to embark on their sanitation project, which also happens to be the theme for this year's season of My Area Code. The show is proudly sponsored by Best Point Savings and Loans, Specialized Mineral Water and Drinks, Alisa Hotel, Aqua Safari Resort, Homeopathic Clinic, North Hills International School, and proudly supported by Decap Hotel. We'll go for a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Your reliability, trustworthy, efficiency, and convenient banking services, Best Point Savings and Loan is the best choice. Grow your business with us today as we offer you Western Union, Vigo Money Transfer, ATM, SMS Banking, SMS Alert, MTN Mobile Money, Tigo Cash, Airtel Money, Salary Loans for all government and private workers, SME Loans, Church Loans, and Auto Loans. Savings account, current account, fixed deposit, Sikedria, Kate Savings account, and Susu. Best point savings and loans. Best point savings and loans. Best point savings and loans. Your dreams, our business. Best point savings and loans. Debi Debi Obey Ye. And I need something to chew me out. Well, it's an exclusive drink, vanilla flavored, and so refreshing. Special mot. Special mot. Guess what? Special mot makes me feel okay. Special mot. If you knew in the system, you could drink and see. Special mot. Special mot makes me feel okay. Special mot. So clean and smooth. Oh, yeah, enjoy yourself. Special mot. Special mot makes me feel okay. Special mot. Guess what? Special Mart feel special. Hi, this is the talent segment on my era code reality TV show where we get to teach our contestants something new. And today we are filming live at Alisa Hotel. We have our contestant seated anxiously waiting to know what today's challenge will be. We get up close with them and reveal today's challenge with them. Let's go check them out. Hi, guys. Hello. How are you all doing? Oh, Charlie, where's the vim? Are you guys getting scared and anxious of today's challenge? Yes. No one, yes. Okay. So today we'll be doing the mythology challenge. You will be taught on how to mix drinks and come up with a very nice cocktail. You'll be given a lectures at first, and after you'll be allowed to do your own cocktail. But you will be put into groups. And the essence of this challenge is for you guys to learn something new in addition to what you already know. So wish you all the best and make your communities proud. My area code. Stand up for your hood. Contestants, over here is Mr. Tapa and he will be taking you through today's challenge. We hope that at the end of today's challenge you learn something new in addition to what you already know. Mr. Tapa, these are our contestants of my Real Code Reality TV show. Nice to meet everyone. Nice to meet you too. Please remember that this segment is proudly sponsored by Martini and JP Shenet, all from Marina Distributions. Guys, first you need to wash your hands to make sure what you are very hygienic for you to what everything that you want to touch for the customers or guests feels like yes, that is what you're doing. And also your napkin should always be by you that you can easily what clean whilst you wash your hands. So I'm just getting close to my sink to just wash my hands and then we we'll start rolling with our what Martini and then the tonic. All right. All right. All right, first, I grab my martini branded glass, it's here. And then what happens is, we need to really understand the tools. Because if you don't understand your tools, you can't really work around, let me say, your bar. And then we have something as bar station. 
you can have a multiple replication of everything here that you call like bar stations okay all right first we have this that is known as the strainer 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 it's just basically about after you shake your drinks you need to make sure you separate the ice and then unwanted chunks either you use fruit or vegetables from entering into the drink that is what you use in what's separating it okay all right we have the bar spoon that is when you want to stir uh, and also when we have certain cocktails that if you want to lay some of the cocktails you have different layers like you can see some cocktails by being made with different colors you have this that we use also as a tool and also it stands also as what uh, measuring tool when we're talking about emails with bartending you need to really understand your marks because you convert into mass uh, like uh, emails liters and then grams kilos all of them is part of how to make good drinks so this is the bar spoon okay all right this is a squeezer that is lime or orange squeezer when you cut the limes or orange into half you just turn them upside down and then you press it out to just get this, the fresh juice out of it so that is our squeezer what you can see here the mat that you see here is known as bar mat because when you're dealing with ice and water what happens is after even washing the shaker you get to a point that some of the water drips so instead of getting spillage on the bar it's what gets on the mat so when the place is less busy you can just take it and then you just what throw the water into your sink to make sure the bar station is very clean and neat all right we have something known as the modeler modeler means you want to press something like cutting about juices spices or herbs if you want the flavor to come out the best thing you do is what you need to model we don't press we model that is what we talk about so that is known as the modeler okay with this that you see that is known as the fruit insert you can put a lot of fruits or spices based on the type that you want you can see i've separated the mains the limes and also the orange zest itself the skin of the orange is known as the orange peel or the orange zest so i've separated everything i don't want it to be together so the fruit insert is there to just help you to separate your fruits or your let me say your spices or herbs that you want to use in making your drinks all right that is known as jigger or measuring instrument we don't call it a tot it's a jigger you have the 50 ml and then what 25 ml that is single shot and also double shot so if you want to serve a customer double shot that is what you use for you to just speed up what your service but if you are using here you're going to go first second it's going to waste time so you use this expert so that is the jigger it's what a measuring we have the tin that is known as the shaker the boston shaker there is the mixing tin and there is the busting tin together it becomes what a busting shaker together it becomes a busting shaker because when you want to mix drinks what happens is you always mix your drink in here and then after you add the ice you close with what the busting tin and then you shake 360 okay when we're talking about shaking always you make sure the mixing tin faces you and then what the busting tin faces the guest or the customer and the techniques in shaking is basically the last finger needs to go to the bottom of the busting shaker and then your first right thumb goes in front in case you lose a grip when shaking what happens it doesn't hit the customer it's going to fall in front of you because you are preventing it from going so no matter how you use any sort of like um, syrups or anything that is very slippery about liqueurs or anything you don't lose like you need to hit the customer or it's not going to hit your face it's going to drop around your working station and you can easily pick it up okay all right so these are the basic tools you need to know we have some that is like pillar we have the bar knife we have um that is the free pourer that helps in controlling the flow of what the spirit itself because when you open the top of this it's very wide but if you want to have that sort of accuracy what pouring definitely you use the free pourer to really put it at the top of what the bottle itself to help you to pour the drink accurately okay all right first before you make a drink what happens is if you're doing any drink with ice you need to watch chill your glass first with ice you chill your glass the main reason we give a lot of ice in making cocktails it doesn't mean you want to lose the flavor but you want to keep the drink much more chilled because when you have a lot of ice it's very compact it doesn't really what it doesn't dissolve early when you put few ice it's dissolved very quickly and then watch the drink itself losing the taste that you want 
the sort of taste you want a customer or their guests want, he or she doesn't have that sort of feeling. So that is the main reason what we add a lot of ice in our glasses, either shaking or even serving. If the customer demands very small ice, definitely you need to serve by his preference. But with the ethics, a lot of ice needs to really get into the what? The drinks. All right. All right. So this is my martini glass itself here. And then this is my free pourer or medium flow pourer. If you're a beginner, what happens is you always grab the neck of what? A bottle for you to have total control. When you hold here and you have like a lot of syrup or anything, you can easily lose the grip based on what the weight of the alcohol or let me say the spirit in the bottle. So first, what I normally do is you can hold it here, but I normally hold it like that. So double shot of what my martini bianco gets straight into what the drink, like the ice. What you need to also do is you shouldn't waste time because when you waste time, it's going to start melt quickly. So when it melts quickly, it becomes like there's water underneath. And when you, have a, you give a customer a drink and he wants or she wants straw, the first contact that happens is he's going to have what, the water first before any other drink. So after putting the ice, what you do is you quickly what, make sure you serve your drink. So I had to just take a little bit of what, the water out and then... So that is my double shot of my martini bianco in there and then I grab the tonic I gently pour the tonic I'll give it one or two stir to just make sure the bianco and also the tonic mix together because the main reason I don't want to shake the tonic or the two of them is one the tonic is carbonated so when you shake it's going to flat you wouldn't have that sort of carbonation going through the drink. So that is the main reason what you just pour over and then what? You stir, one, two, three, you are done. I gently drop my lime or lemon slice in there and then here I go. I serve to the customer or the guest. So that is how we serve our what? Our martini tonic when it comes to making a perfect serve with a martini. So guys, I think um, I've really shown everything that we are going to do today. And then what I can say is good luck to everybody. And then just relax. All right. <laughs> All right. My lemon, squeeze it, add my bacardi, and after that, I shake it very well. I did it very long. First, I was nervous when I was doing it. I was so nervous and I knew something told me in my mind that I was not doing the right thing. We were not in groups today, so I did a martini tonic. So I did well, but just that I said my drink was, was not to the, the brim of the glass, so it has to be to the brim of the glass. The ingredients which he used in making the Cuba Libra, uh, I, I also like, I liked the way he did it, so I chose that one. But when I came on board, when it was my turn, I also did it. But you know, in everything, there is a first time. My tonic, tonic, 
And then it was, this is my first time of hearing such name. And then when the man was doing it, I had to put on my best. But I made some few mistakes. I was really tense. To be frank, I never respected that kind of job. And if you ask me to do that job, no, 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 no. But for today, I would like, I would like to, I would like to be one. Martini tonic. And it was it was nice. It tasted nice, but the instructor was biased some way. I was really shaking and stabbed. And how to to serve your customers? I don't think you should be shaking. You should be yourself. So I think what he said about me was okay. Overconfident, as he said, I was very overconfident because I I planned doing the same thing, but when I got to the the table, I was very confused. I was very confused, and I would say our, 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 his remarks were very good. So when I was doing it, I made a mistake, and I have to re realize um, my mistake and then do it again. So after everything, Stephanie, that's the coach, the one who coached us, he gave his judgment and. His judgment was fair. Put tissue down before placing my glass on it. But he was like, my own was off. Why? He was rude to me. I don't understand that. I'm not that forward hard drinks or any other thing so it was very difficult for me to even go behind the table to go and mix some of the things but I think I did well and then I presented with um, a tissue under my cup and all that I think I did very well I felt that the 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 the, comp, the like the challenge was it was just so like tense. My tonic spirit was too much, so that made my own cocktail very very sweet, and uh, that was not how he expected it from me. The person who won our challenge today and also had a treat for me this weekend to go to about two or three bars to have a good time. And I'll make sure, even I'm not there, she's going to go with one or two people who is part of the team to have a good time, to understand what bartending is about and what hospitality is about. B, she was the only person who really made me feel she had a challenge. experience pains and burning sensation in the penis? Why is discharges from the penis when urinating? Are you experiencing numbness, burning sensation, joint pains, heaviness and movement in the body? Endpoint is specialized in chronic and acute diseases. Locate Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic on Spintest Road, Tema, Committee 22, Kumasi, Kronum Abuohia, and Takrade, Anaji Estate. Call Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic on 0244-867-068. My name is Alternative Dr. Samuel Fiago from Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic. Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic is a multi-specialist private clinic with five branches in Ghana. In Accra, we are located at Spintest Road, Shell Signboard, Tema Committee 22, opposite Koanaso Hotel. 
Kumasi Kurunum Abwe here behind the Angel School, Takradi Anaji, and then Techiman uh, opposite the Jespon Filling Station. The founder, Dr. Edu Boateng, founded Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic in the year 2009. Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic is a set up that is mainly an establishment to provide effective and reliable health care to its clients. Our mission is to provide quality and effective health care to our clients and customers uh, with the state of art medical and diagnostic equipment like the 4D Doppler ultrasound scan machines, the diagnostic machines, the physio to help also boost the immune system uh, and then for fitness as well and to also help them with fitness that has to do with physiotherapy and our doors are open to all people to also assess our medical laboratory and consultation as well. Our achievements as known to everybody as the multiple awards winner. We have won several awards in the healthcare and homeopathic setup. What makes Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic different from the other homeopathic clinics uh, is one, we have trained, well-trained doctors, nurses, and homeopathic consultants that support the vision. Secondly, we have the state-of-the-art equipment that also help with doing of the work becoming very simple, but with the quality and best results. What makes Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic different from the other homeopathic clinics uh, is one, we have trained, well-trained doctors, nurses, and homeopathic consultants that support the vision. Secondly, we have the state-of-the-art equipment that also help with doing of the work becoming very simple but with the quality and best results Kaskala tui we are sure tui tui na mi no tui no tui come on don't answer the gong ba wo le ma na wa da na motion da international fisherman Sanitation is a major problem here in Ghana, thereby causing the outbreak of several diseases like cholera, malaria, and diarrhea. Today, we are live here with my area code reality TV show contestants to embark on a campaign of stop opening defecation here at Choco in Shona. This is one of the coastal areas where most times opening defecation takes place. Our contestants will go around speaking to the people that reside here on opening defecation. Join us as we embark on this project, our developmental project. This is still my area code reality TV show, a show proudly brought to you by Alisa Hotel, Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic, Specialized Mineral Water and drinks, Best Point Savings and Loans, North Hills International School, The Cup Hotel and Aqua Safari Resort. Join us for more fun. Here at Chocolate and Timami. Today has been very stressful, seriously. I have to educate a lot of people about open defecation. And somewhere like they are okay with open defecation because when they go to the seaside, 
they feel free and comfortable when they are doing their education. But at the end, I was able to educate them and the harmful what open education can cost to us when we keep on doing it. We had this, we did this little flyers that we shared to the people of Choco. That speaks about open education. We're trying to stop open education at Choco because it's very serious here in Choco. The project at Choco, I'm really, really sad today because I found out a lot of children that don't go to school, they are home. But our advice to the Choco people, the Choco um, youth, should just put themselves together and try to stop duplicating around the um, seashore. Also had uh, time with the, the Wolache, who's me, Amalai, uh, the second, and he, he, he gave us his intention of helping the community. I believe Choco is really doing well. They do, if they are not living up to their best. But I believe uh, with time, they will move on. It's a very poor environment. I feel so sad for them. But we've shown them the little that we can. And I'm here to educate them on the curse of open defecation. To let them know that it is very harmful for them with what I saw today. And according to our people, the fee for the toilet is so expensive. Because of that, they cannot go to the public toilet to ease their stuff. So I, I'm supposing that the toilet fee in the community should be reduced to a, an amount that everyone can afford to go there. The present change is going to change the open education in our slums, as we used to say. I urge you all and I also urge the government to help risk out the open education in our slums. To look out for the NGOs in the communities to also come forward and make a, make a stand on stopping open defecation in the community in Choco. I'm here to tell them what they are supposed to do. Well, they have to um, educate the people around, not to defecate around the um, sea. Because when you defecate around the sea, you retard development. Choco is an area very sucia. Chicos, no vais a creer lo que lo que lo que estoy viendo con mis propios ojos. Choco es una area es una comunidad muy sucia. Y yo siempre decía que la paz es una comunidad sucia, pero yo no sabía que la paz tiene esperanza. Let's join hands together and end open defecation now. In at our coastal areas, our contestants have spoken to the people that reside here at Choco in Shona on the open defecation. We hope you've learned a thing or two and you will help us on this campaign to stop open defecation at our coastal areas. This has been a developmental segment on my area code reality TV show season four. This show is proudly sponsored by Best Point Savings and Loans. Specialized mineral water and drinks, Alisa Hotel, Aqua Safari Resort, Endpoint Homeopathic Clinic, North Hills International School, and proudly supported by the Cap Hotel. Don't forget to keep testing for your favorite contestants or your favorite community. So the short code 1446 on the Sani e me awa o lo sa cho na nga woji short nga woji a ho lo le bi 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 ko me ni amenye aran ni ame lo je ke mo ya ti je su e po e pe ro ko fi o ko ni ga wo lo le mi na ke a lo so na ka si wa mo bo ni ta ji ni bo ni free toilet ni awa je เออลูกปาเรนน่ะก็เจอเซมิติแกอ่ะก็ว่าเจอเปย์ชิวบลายอ่ะบีเนี่ยก็บลายอ่ะบีเอ่อก็ว่าแล้วเนี่ยตอน
I love coming to school because my school is beautiful. I have lots of friends and learning is so easy. Welcome to North Hills International School. Here we admit students from preschool up to junior high school. We have ultra modern classrooms, an up to date library, a beautiful computer room, a well equipped science lab, excellence in extracurricular activities such as basketball, table tennis, football, a swimming pool each for preschool, basic school, and junior high school. We teach ballet, dancing, cadets, and taekwondo. We have professional teachers who are all degree holders. We offer GES and British curricula. We have surround cameras so when your ward comes to school, he or she is protected. Air conditioned buses transport students from home to school and vice versa. We train students to become responsible and ethical citizens of the world. I recommend North Hills International School for your ward. We'll be expecting you. North Hills International School Academic We've come to the end of today's edition of My Era Code Reality TV Show Season 4 and I hope you enjoyed watching us today and have learned a lot and will help us on the campaign of ending the open defecation on our coastal areas. Thank you so much. We'd like to say a very big thank you to our proud sponsors, Alisa Hotel and Point Homeopathic Clinic, Specialized Mineral Water and Drinks, Best Point Seven Salons, North Hills International School and the Hotel. Also a very big thank you to Ophel's Collection, to Lisa Beauty World and to Google of the Lifestyle Boutique for hooking us down this week. Stay tuned, we'll be back next week with another exciting edition of my Area Code Reality TV show. My name is Nami Yokai. Thank you so much for watching.